Good afternoon, everyone. A couple of messages from Dallas and Ice Age Farmer said, Hey, one of your videos is on Australian Newsfeed. I'm so glad they posted this video about snows in Greece, down to the beaches in Italy, because it's from 2017. And since that time, it's been a trend. 2018, Italian beaches freeze again. Snow in Greece and Morocco. And then we had the super freeze. And this is how much snow has come down this latest storm. The reduction in solar activity expected to mimic something like the Maunder Minimum 1600s. Look how much snow, even that snow plow in the center having difficulty. Weight loads on the roofs, troublesome at the moment. Snow on the tracks. Well, they have to clear through 15 feet in some places. Ski jumping competition canceled too much snow. Romanian winter scenes. The depths in Turkey. And the wider these lines are on the chart, the more the magnetic fields in the sun are canceling themselves out. We're just at the cusp of the beginning of the heavy changes, the real intensities coming in 2021 during this first cycle of two waves. And during these uncertain times, I've teamed up with My Patriot Supply Long-Term Food Storage, a nice affordable starter kit, two-week food supply, 1,500 calories per day, breakfast, lunch, and dinners, plus the four-gallon storage containers included in that. This is a good first step in getting more self-sufficient. And if you click through the Prepare with Adapt 2030 page in My Patriot Supply, you can get this starter kit for 75 bucks. Please remember there's a limit of two per household in this special offer. Quick shout out to Dallas here who alerted me to the Australian news feed as well as Ice Age Farmer. News.com.au The story was about this year's ferocious snows in Greece, Italy, Slovenia, an abnormal cold all the way down to the beaches, including snow cover for those on holiday. No beach chairs, just white sand. Yet that video is from 2017, and I'm very grateful that they put that in because now it's showing a trend. Because when we look back at just the spring of this year, Italian beaches freeze again. Greece snows down to the beaches with Morocco. So many anomalies in the atmosphere this year in Europe, as well as coastal flooding, weather behaving strange. They've done so many videos on this with the extreme cold in the UK, late summer, the mega drought in the Czech lands, ancient hunger stones visible. Then they had the super freeze, the dust storms, and then the loss of crops that had vegetable shortages. And this is again all the way back in January 2017. Looks like a trend to me. And the reason I've been doing these videos is to show this exact trend. The forecast is for declining solar activity. And as the sun declines in its activity state, we're going to go back and match something in temperatures and weather 400 years ago during the Maunder Minimum in Europe. You can find the same exact information. What happened from 1640 to 1710. We're going to go back and repeat this again. Maunder Minimum left of the chart. It's an expected uptick right now in 2019 because these magnetic waves are starting to really cancel each other on the sun. And the wider that line gets means the more the magnetism is canceling itself out. So the magnetic field of the sun is becoming weaker. The output is becoming weaker. And this is affecting our Earth's magnetosphere and our jet streams as well. So the wider the wave is on here, the more extreme the weather shall become. You can see from the yellow into the green is just where we moved into 2019. Look how much more change we have to go through versus the last four years. At least double the amount again. It's going to be intense. So you would look for trends like this. Increasing snowfalls, massive snowfalls. Austria, so much snow that these are the roads you're looking at here. And that vehicle is a snow plow. See how deep it is to the side of the road there. When I say deep snows, this is how much has come down. Staggering amounts that the mainstream media will just say, oh, it's a snowstorm. Yeah, Austria got a little extra snow. But this is the most snow they've had in 120 years. Right on time. If we're going to repeat something for a 400-year cycle, you're going to have to go through the 100, 150-year records first before you get to a 400-year all-time record. We're going to go right through the 150-year snow records right here in Austria this year. Now, the rooftop views 10, 12 feet of snow there. 
but this is something entirely different. This is a cable car station. Above is after the snowfall. Now you know as well as I do, you've been on cable cars, you know exactly how high those things are off the ground. And that entire station, that's 20 plus feet of snow. And over at IceAgeNow.info, it's headline after headline after headline about snow chaos, Athens again, covered in white, heavy snow in Central Europe, record-breaking snowfalls. Yet the media is focusing on the heat in Australia. Now the snow load on the roofs is a concern at the moment because it is so heavy and so much extra snow that they're encouraging people to get that snow off as quickly as possible. Now load-bearing structures with snow is one thing, but on the railroads, they got to keep the traffic moving by rail. Five meters, that's 15 feet. So this is what the tracks look like covered in this snowstorm. Here they are clearing out, and after they pass through and blast everything out of the way, you're left with this tunnel. This image here, you have to put it into scale and into context. This is a town that's buried. Bring it in here a little bit wider. So the wide view looking down into this valley is this place. And you can see there's no roads open. Everything's buried that you can see. So how deep do you think that snow is? Well, approximately this much. And if you can see the car in there, that's about how deep the snow is. So much, in fact, that ski jumping competitions were canceled due to too much snow. Moon halo over Vienna. And it's just event after event after event. Romania, I guess the pictures speak for themselves here. Interesting nighttime glow as well in that same scene. But it's not limited there. It's also happening down in Turkey. These year upon year increases in winter events and extremes of the winter events. Single snowfall. Western Turkey, Bursa. So with this trend continuing and the solar forecast the way it is, next year should be even heavier and more intense than this year. But this winter is no way, shape, or form over yet. It got a late start like it did last year, so it should delay planting like it did last year. But I bet it's going to stick around a little bit longer in the spring this year. And for more information on Grand Solar Minimum Intensification, 30 minutes at a time on the go, many Ice Age Conversations podcast anywhere podcasts are hosted across the net. Social media feeds if you want to get your information in snippets. And as always, click that bell to stay subscribed.